Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is me, G. K. Stars Way, back with another video. If you enjoy, leave a like, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, do all that. Yeah, I hopped into the Spitfire Mark II today, and this thing in realistic is pretty good. I'll recommend it. People say it's cancerous, it's OP, they can't beat it. And guess what I have to say? I agree. Yep, I hope you enjoyed the intro, and this is the Spitfire Mark II. And yeah, so let's just take off here. And uh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, this was my um, comrade, Lucas. That happens a lot. You end up spawning on each other. On each other. I think that was Lucas. But yeah, that was a bit screwed up. That, like, claps. Well done. That was pretty bad. So yeah, let's just hopefully... I'm just going to skip to the action. Yeah, why did I do that? I have no idea. But I'm just going to skip to the action. See ya. Yeah, I'm back. And yeah, I'm just going to give you a few stats on this thing. Well, I don't have the full stats, but I'll just say a summary of this game because it was really fun. It is relatively fast. This was me because I'm cheap, didn't have any XP, so I didn't get the engine upgrade, which is a 1,400 horsepower Merlin engine, I think, because... You, you, if you're British, you know that in World War II, Spitfires and Hurricanes used Merlin engines, uh, Rolls Royce engines, sorry, oh well, yeah, I don't know, I can't remember. But yeah, as you can see in Realistic, I think this is the first Realistic game I've done, and um, yeah, so I'll just give you a little summary. You don't have uh, a speed gauge, uh, well, speed little thing that you'd usually see next to the... Uh, left bail you don't have your altitude don't have your health don't have your fuel everything's realistic like in the name and um it would be it's like where like, it'd be normal like it's just on the gauges and not up at the top which makes it harder you can pass out in realistic you can't see the enemy as well you have to go by the naked eye and stuff and you need good navigation as you've probably seen here i've I killed a few of my teammates quite a few times also, I want to make this noted, in the new update, um, I don't know what update number it is, I will find out, there'll probably be a pop-up around about now, um, flat, I'll just say it's annoying, yeah, it's very good this time, yeah, see, everyone's confused in chat, they're like, who is who, who is who, but yeah, so, this Spitfire is good, it's got 8 30 cal machine guns, it's, cancerous like people say i think it's just good i go head on head with him i get blown up like never go head on head with a, a wait, that was a bf 109 but i think it was a higher tier one so you never go head on head with that i don't recommend you i don't recommend doing it yeah so i come up on this stuka here i'm not really good in realistic killing because there's no red thingy but i was fine here because he was close so I just shot him. Goodbye. That was a Stutka. There was a lot of Stutkas in the game. But a Stutka just can't cope with... Like, even with the best pilot, couldn't cope with a Spitfire. Spitfires are just... Too rapid and too quick and too terrifying when they're on your tail to be able to... To be able to, um, kill you. Well, not kill you. Really kind of get away. Their tail gunner doesn't do anything because it barely moves at all I'll, I'll, if you want just let me know i'll put up uh, I'll, I'll do a video on the um stuka if you want because oh i'll also do a video on the focal because i spent like five quid getting one plane so yeah i need to do something with it imagine i got a bunch of likes and then that five quid would be would actually be paid back by youtube <laughs> so yes this game was very busy i did get quite good kills, quite a few kills. I didn't touch the ships. I didn't touch the flak because well, I did try, but it, I wasn't successful. So yeah, yeah. So there was enemy on my tail at this point, and in realistic, you don't know. You don't know if that's your teammate or not. The only way I, the way I usually indicate if it's near the enemy base, I know if it's them by um if the flak is going off. 
um, Lucas, my handy bestie. I'll link his channel in the description because one, I want him to upload more, and two, he's a really nice person. And yeah, so I did not know where he was. Oh, and then I think I just saw him go over my shoulder, like what well, over my whole that uh, thing, and then so I just went for this dude. And um, yeah, I got told he was on my six. I don't know where he was. Did he kill me? Yep, my comrade I think took him out. And why do I could say comrade? Is this some some Russian dude? I have no clue. But yeah, so this realistic is really hard. You're probably gonna hear me rant on about realistic. These things can definitely the BF 109s can definitely outclaim us Spitfire. And we lose ammo quite quick, so like we can just spray like our ammo. But like to be honest, you need to be quite careful. I got caught out in a stall quite a few times. And yeah, it was pretty bad. Like, you can see here the flak. I'm, I'm going for this stupid here. Can't remember if I took him out. No, I didn't. I got taken out myself. Because the dude was on my tail. And I forgot he was on my tail. So, yeah. Yeah, so apparently the game said it was my turn to get the piggyback right. Which really confused me. Well, not really. You don't. Not every day you see uh, Spitfires get piggybacks by Hurricane. But yeah. Here you see two beasts having <clears throat> See this is what I mean how about earlier um about that I killed someone in my own team quite a few times because you can't tell in realistic. I thought it was a HE one eleven but obviously it wasn't. So yeah, he killed me, I killed him, friendly kill reported, which kinda sucked. At least you don't get like banned for doing that. Because then that would kind of suck. Okay, so this is the HE111. Not the other person. I'm pretty sure I got him. Nope. Because my aim, I just couldn't turn. I think it was just the sensitivity. Started stalling out. I hate it when you do this. Like, if you got this V8, you're just stuck. Got a good, nice picture here. Got a play of my... Well, got cl up close with my friend, I guess. I think this was K. Shout to you. K. Yeah, shout to you. Or another dude, I don't know. But yeah, in realistic, you have um, night time, sunset, it's like realistic. I've said realistic about 50 times today in this video. And then you see the moon, I've got some good screenshots around about here. And yeah, I said I can't see because I legit couldn't see. I, I see it better now that I'm voiceovering it, but before I could not see at all. I legit had to. And this wasn't even the darkest it would get though. Like, it got so much darker. So then I just land here. Yeah, I just land. Put the landing gear down. Which is different in this. And yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't really see the runway. Because it's really kind of green. You have to look on the map and stuff. Yeah, that was me landed all safe. Also, I was just wondering. Because this was an hour and three minutes of recording. The gameplay. If you're wondering what editing software I use to cut it down, I now do recommend it, especially if you're looking for a free good editing software where you don't have to uh, transfer your gameplay from your phone to your laptop. I use iMovie, which I got recommended, and I didn't know about it, and I had a really crappy one, and I completely forgot about this app, so cheers to this app, because it's definitely helped me out, and I'm probably going to stay with it for quite a while, because it still gets updates and all that so i just landed here this game like i i'm not really into realistic games <clears throat> pardon me but um this was really fun i really enjoyed it especially on the new update we can have max graphics everything looks amazing well for a mobile game which is just over one gigabyte it was pretty good i do recommend it because i know some of my viewers um because um, on my Discord server, which my new one, um, a lot of them play Forza. I, I keep saying Forza vids will come soon. Hopefully, I've, I've got a big problem right now. I'm trying to get Xbox Live sorted out. And then, um, basically, I need to transfer something to a new account. Because my, um, basically, my mom made, <laughs> my mom made my new, um, old, well, made the original account. Uh, under he her email and everything. And then, um, uh, uh, she can't set up a live account on we can't set a live account on that account so um, if you can leave in the comments how to if you can like transfer change an email to account so I could 
what happens is I can make a new account, yeah, and do that live on that, but then I lose all my progress and everything. I've spent I've played Forza Horizon for two years. I'll lose two years of progress. Don't wanna do that. I'd rather not play live than do that. But yeah. I do just go autopilot here. I'll just skip the action. Got good screenshots. And also for my thumbnails. I've got the YouTube editor app, I just need help being able to verify my account. It's not even verified yet. I haven't even had the time, so busy, still working all that. But yeah, I'm gonna skip the action. Okay, so as I said earlier, there was um, a bunch of stoop cuts in this game, and yeah, there's a stoop cut up here. And then, <clears throat> it's night time. Night time flying is super hard in this game. This was super hard. I didn't use the flap well enough, I didn't get him. And it was really confusing me, because I was confused, he was tur- I couldn't see if he was turning left or if he was turning right, and then I just went out of sight, and then he did like a- Oh, that right. <laughs> And then he just did a 360 and all that, and yeah, I nearly lost him, but yeah, he came on his tail. I'm better at uh, realistic games, also leave it in the comments if you want me to do more realistic games or historic games. But yeah, definitely fun, I really enjoyed this. I really, really, really enjoyed this, yeah, it's super fun. At night time as well, yeah, night time flying was really interesting, because you couldn't see... I can see it now better, which is super weird that I can see it now, as if the head things just made it super light. I'm on- well, I was on fire, but I did, so I'm a real mirror. But yeah, I just tried to land an attack on, because I have lowish ammo, I'm trying to- uh, uh, I don't know if I have low ammo, can't see. Um, yeah, I just tried to mount an attack on this, so, um, came in on enemy base. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, it's pretty cool, because like, all you can see, because it's night time, I know it's more light now, but all you could see then was, um, your way of navigating was going to the flak. That's where you knew the enemy was, just go by the flak. So I tried to aim here, and like, you, you can't see him, the flak. You can't see him. You need to, like, wait for them to shoot. And look, if you look at the gun fires from him, how is that not hitting him? I'm, my, my red, like, dot in the middle is just hitting him. Perfectly. I'm not hitting him. I waste my whole ammo on him. And I thought, okay, why not kamikaze into him? So, I did, well, tried to, failed. So yeah, enemy aircraft come in here. I know I skipped a big part of it, but it's still night time. Nothing happened, I was in autopilot. Cause I was getting a, a lesson on what to do on it. Stop live on the home. Got him here, I legit got him, nothing. Go watch that in slow motion, I legit got him in about a few hits. This is 30 cal machine guns, I know there's eight of them. I don't know, maybe I just hit all my shots. And yeah, I see another guy here, probably got hit by flak, didn't I? See, look how close the flak is. And the, the thing is, you don't even get hit by flak sometimes. It's the little, like, the end of it when it explodes. You know how you saw that big fireball? That's the part that gets me. Pretty sure I got him here. I have no clue. Yeah, I definitely did. Once I'm on your tail, you ain't winning unless I run out of ammo. <laughs> it's a bit of a flex, but... Yeah, good kill there. Very good kill there. See, I'm just gonna fly around, look for enemy. But yeah, never mind. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. It's gonna be a long one, 14 minutes at the time. If you did, if you enjoyed, leave a like, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification so you know when I upload the next video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.